guess what i'm back with another video i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do a 2d logo yeah let's get into it Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make a text new wait that sounded wrong hold up so the first thing you want to do is create text right click the box press new and then text so now put whatever you want i'm gonna do my favorite animal in the whole entire world and that is jellyfish i love me some jellyfish <laughs> If you don't like the font that's on there, you're gonna double click the text. And then I'm just gonna pick a font because yeah, I think I'm gonna do this font. I kind of like it, but I don't at the same time, but I like it. If you don't want the color, we're gonna fill it with whatever color you want. And then center your text. So control alt home and then control home. And then it's gonna center. You can shorten the text or whatever. So drag it like right there. We're gonna put this right here. So once you have all of that, we're gonna import our picture. So press Control I on your keyboard and put whatever picture you want. I'm gonna find one real quick and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so it just took me forever to find a photo, but I think I found one. This makes you kill your face so loud. Oh, make sure your picture is a PNG. If you don't want a PNG, that's fine, but like preferably a PNG. Now what we want to do is make the text kind of like go in like a circular motion. So what you need to do is double click your text and then we need to like type it like four or five times. Okay, so once it's typed out like four or five times, what we're going to do next is make a mask. So go to like the top right here and then search for ellipse tool. Click your text and then we're going to make a mask. So hold shift and then make a circle. So we're just going to like drag it like that. And it should look something like this. Next thing we want to do, if we want like the text to be like in that circle shape, click this arrow right here, go in this section, press text and then path options. And then the path should be on mask one. And then it's in a circle. Once you're happy with your text like that, we're gonna press P on the text again. And now we're gonna center it with the image that you have. So we're gonna make it rotate. So go back to your selection tool or whatever. And then you're gonna hold Y. And then we're gonna move this anchor point right here because we want it to be like centered when it spins. Because if it's not centered, then it's gonna look all janky. Once you do that, we're gonna basically just animate it now. I meant keyframe it, keyframe it. Don't get too excited. What I'm gonna do first is add some turbulent displace. So like the jellyfish has some movement because it's kind of still right now. Turbulent displace. Mount at six. Click right here. Hold all. Press the stopwatch. A pop up right here. Put time that and then five. And then it should do something like this. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. <laughs> Once we have the turbulent displaced, make the text rotate. So press R on the text and then press the stopwatch. And then we're going to go like to the end and then we're going to rotate it some, but not too much because you don't want it to go too fast. Okay, so that's good right there. So once all of that is set, we're going to make it zoom in, hold shift, select both of them and then pre-compose. Click the stopwatch, go like right there. And then we're gonna put our scale to zero in the beginning. And then it should do this right here. But what we're gonna do is add a graph so it won't be stiff because stiffness is no no. So hold shift, click both of your keyframes and then click keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then we're gonna click, blah, blah, blah. click this graph editor button. And then we're gonna do something like this with our graph. And then it should look something like this. <laughs> okay, so once, and then what we're gonna do is rotate it back out. Press R on the clip, click the stopwatch, and then go to the end, and then rotate it like that. And then we're gonna select both of our keyframes by holding shift, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then we're gonna do a graph like this. And then it should look something like this press s now on the keyboard since we already zoomed it in go past this click this right here and then we're gonna scale it back out so go near the end press zero and then we're gonna go to the end and then we're gonna do a graph like this 
and then we should have this and then you're basically done but I'm gonna add some extra things to it so pre-compose this clip duplicate this layer right here add some deep glow for the background I'm gonna add some echo so duplicate this layer again and then echo and then basically it's just gonna have like that echo effect I'm gonna change this starting intensity All right, so once you're happy with whatever effects you add, you're going to pre-compose everything again. And now we're just going to add some panning. So. All right, guys, so now the logo is done. I know. It was very easy, very simple. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next year, 2024. Like, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Love you. Um, Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Peace out.